Assalamualaikum sirs. Welcome back. Uh, today, the second lesson is about again from the Mesopotamian civilizations, but we are going to cover the next part of the chapter. Well, first of the objectives of this lesson is we are going to explain the key features of the earliest Mesopotamian civilization, and we are going to discuss a little bit about the inventions and the discoveries. So. Obviously, there will be a few images which you're going to see in your sources. I'm going to add a few videos of YouTube links for you. And then the topic that I'm going to cover today is from textbook page number three. Now, Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization. This is the name. There were, there were many names given to Mesopotamian civilization, but the two famous names which are always given were the Cradle of Civilization and the Fertile Crescent. These are the two things uh, which the Mesopotamia is known as. If you are talking to someone, if you talk to some historian, if you talk about the Cradle of Civilization, it would be understood that you are talking about a Mesopotamian civilization. So, first of all, the thing that I have discussed in my previous lesson that Mesopotamia was in past and now in present. It is known as modern day Iraq or the area of Kuwait. And do you know one thing that they also used to call it Samaria? It was Mesopotamian civilization as well as they used to call it Samaria. So the people living over there, they are known as Sumerians. Now, um, it, if we just look at the term Mesopotamia, then usually it uh, derived from the Greek. The mid Meso means middle and uh, Potamos means river. So as I have already told you, the Mesopotamia was the one that was between two rivers, Tigris and Euphrates. So that's why its name is Mesopotamia. That means in the middle of the river. And uh, it literally means a country between two uh, rivers. Now, as I've told you that it is known as a cradle of civilization, the reason is that because some of the most influential early life states and empires first emerged there. Okay, if you come to know, if we are going through the history of the Mesopotamia, you'll come to know that the majority of the important inventions and the early city states were developed there and the fertile crescent the reason for fertile crescent is that because it fertile means that is rich uh, in agriculture <clears throat> so as it was between the two rivers tigris and euphrates so it was very much river and it was making a kind of a crescent so that's why it is known as a fertile crescent because it was very rich in agriculture now uh, the two rivers were the source of livelihood. Yes, the majority of their livelihood, majority of their income used to come from the two rivers through agriculture. And the over, over a large span of time from 5300 BCE to the conquest of the region by Persians and Greeks, the area of the current modern Iraq. So it covers the area of the modern Iraq from that time. This is the modern Iraq right now. Okay, now let's come to the features of the Mesopotamia. One of the first place to develop agriculture, okay, because this was the first place just because having the twin rivers, that was considered as to be the first place for developing agriculture. Majority of the people, they started growing the crops. They were not only growing the crops for themselves, but they used to sell it to the other civilizations. So that's how they earned a lot of money. It was also at the crossroad of Egyptians and the Indus Valley civilizations. Now, the most important point is it is a melting pot of languages and cultures that stimulated a lasting impact of writing, technology, language, trade, religion, and law. Yes, it was the one, or you can call it Mesopotamia, was the one basic platform who is still influencing us in the way that it influenced our writing. Through that, we came to know how we're going to write. It has a part in our technology it has a kind of marks on our languages, on our trade, religion, and law. So these are all the things which were actually governed from uh, Mesopotamian civilization. Now, if we talk about the geographical location and map description, you just come to know that the word Mesopotamia, as we have discussed, uh, means the land between the rivers. The rivers are the Tigris and the Euphrates. It was about 300 miles long and about 150 miles wide. 
you can look on a map on the world all day long for Mesopotamia and you probably never find it. That's because it is no longer called Mesopotamia. The current name for this area is Iraq. Now look at the map key. The current, uh, the border of what we call Iraq is the dash lines. You can say these are the dash lines and this is the area of Iraq. The Tigris River is the blue line in the east and Euphrates River is the blue line in the west. You can see that Euphrates and Tigris. The Mesopotamia region was the area in between those two rivers where you can see Assyria, Syria and Babylon. Now, inventions and discoveries of Mesopotamia. Now, in your book, there was only uh, one of few inventions, but here I'm going to tell you uh, furthermore for, so you can have a little bit of knowledge. Invention writing was the most remarkable and distinguished uh, feature and the invention or discovery of all time of Mesopotamia. The first form of writing was Kearney form. And uh, Mesopotamia was one of the four places where writing was uh, invented. Now, the language they used to speak was Sumerian, and the script they used was Kiriform. A script means that the writing style they used to communicate with each other. And after uh, uh, deciphering that script, when people, when the archaeologists, when later on the historian, they started deciphering, they started learning the cuneiform, and then when they started deciphering the language, they came to know that the civilization was very advanced. Now, through why they were using the cuneiform writing style, they were using the cuneiform writing style for business record, uh, for records daily events like astronomy. Um, they were a kind of pictograph. They were some of the pictures of the horses and there were some of the pictures of the elephants. And do you know, it always takes in the modern time, it takes 12 years for a person to learn and write cuneiform. Now, the other uh, discoveries and invention were the maps. Time. They have developed the time. The Mesopotamians developed the concept of time, dividing the time unit into 60 parts, which eventually led to 60 seconds, minutes, and 60 minutes hour. Then we have the plow. As you know, that the Mesopotamian civilization, they were very rich in agriculture. So definitely most of their discoveries was in the Department of Agriculture, harvesting, plowing. So they, for the very first time, they have introduced a plow sailboat yes they have made the sailboat for the first time as you know they were living near the two rivers so they need to um, do the trading for that purpose they needed a passage away so that's why they had a sailboat they invented the sailboat now let's go let's discuss the recap the things that we have covered in this lesson first ancient mesopotamia yes we have discussed about the ancient mesopotamia that uh, the name of Mesopotamia it came from the Greek word Meso in middle, Potamia, Potamos means uh, river, so it is in the middle of the river and it was very ancient and it was the basis of all the civilizations. In the features of Mesopotamia, we have read about that it is a first civilization that introduced the agriculture. Then we have read about that it is a nothing point which has an effect on our language, on our technology, on our religion nowadays. Okay, then in the geographical and map description, uh, we have discussed that it was it is between two rivers called the Tigris and Euphrates. And uh, in the invention discoveries, we have not only discussed about the invention, that was the very important was the writing system of the cuneiform, and uh, the language is known as Sumerian. We have also discussed that this uh, Mesopotamian civilizations they have made maps, they have made uh, given the concept of time, they have made the plow. And uh, one thing more I want to add it over here that as they were having a great part in the ag uh, agriculture and uh, irrigation, uh, they formed cultivated wheat, barley, cucumber, and other different uh, foods and vegetables. They used stone house to plow the ground before the invention of the plow. Ancient uh, Mesopotamian farmers cultivated wheat, barley, cucumbers, and other different foods and vegetables too. They used stone house to plow the ground before the invention of the plow. So these are the things they used to do when the plow was not invented. Okay.
and uh, that's all now the written task for this lesson is what is meant by cradle of civilization and which region does this term refers to i think we have already discussed why did ancient mesopotamia came to be known as a fertile crescent what factors made the Mesopotamian civilization stand out from other civilizations? All of these things are in your uh, in your book. After this lesson, I really request you all to read the book clearly in detail, and I hope you will not have any problems.